Hawthorne webcast desk. We're holding at T-minus 40 seconds. What we've heard so far is we have a couple of issues we're working. One is the booster tank pressurization. Uh, final pressurization was just a little bit uh, long. That's not unusual. We've held at T-minus 40 seconds before to pressurize. That appears to have been resolved. At the same time on the second stage, they're working some final purging. Uh, we should know very shortly if that is clear and if we'll continue the countdown. <laughs> One, especially that person, is excited to keep going. <laughs> like John said, we should know shortly um, if we are able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be able to lift off today. Yeah, on Falcon 9, it's a little bit different. Once we start propellant loading, we pretty much have to go at the targeted time. Otherwise, the propellants can warm up and we may not have the performance for that particular uh, mission profile. It's a little bit different on and Starship. Folks, if I can interrupt, yeah. it looks like they're clearing all the flags and we're going to release at T minus 40 seconds. That is amazing news. Amazing. <laughs> Team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. And I'm sure all of the rehearsals uh, and simulations that they've been doing have prepared them to evaluate this data quickly to try to get us in for today's launch attempt. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T-minus 40-second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the key purge on the Stage 2 Raptors. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that, and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40-second period, and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around, because <laughs> uh, Starship could be gone here real soon. station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. If all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And here 
the fumes of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a loose back maneuver through landing and the golf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. from the super heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a normal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. And there, as we saw, as we promised, an exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, <laughs> but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> Well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a run during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship, and the goal was to gather the data and, as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's going to happen, but as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. And Starship gave us a rather spectacular end to what was truly an incredible test thus far. Now, as we mentioned at the start of today's program, any and all the data that we collected during the test is going to help us with further development of Starship, and it's going to improve the vehicle's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. It's really worth noting that the flight path was designed to be over water and all the air and sea space along with that flight path and those surrounding areas cleared in advance of the test. And, of course, we're going to be coordinating with local authorities for the recovery operations. But honestly, what an exciting morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a successful liftoff from Starbase, Texas at 8.28 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we cleared the tower, which honestly was our only hope. <laughs> we cleared the tower and all the data that we collected all the way through, um, the, all those Raptor, those 33, although I think we saw that three Raptor engines were out. Um, but we got all that data and uh, we got so far as to hoping to see the the starship the second stage separate from the first stage the super heavy booster and unfortunately we didn't make that happen but that's okay it was the first integrated launch um and honestly this day was amazing <laughs> absolutely incredible
full day. Uh, we made it through a number of those initial uh, test objectives with getting booster ascent, getting all the way through the countdown, working some issues yep. at the end. Like, Total really fantastic time, day. Got through the gate of T minus 40 seconds on the second try. Everything released, the hold down, quick disconnect arms, everything moves out of the way. And then we got the vehicle off the pad, through max Q, all the way up to stage separation, even starting into the prep for stage stuff. And then, as we say, a lot of excitement. <laughs> Honestly, my face has had a smile on it since lift off, and now my face hurts. <laughs> now, since we don't have any insights on the cause of our rapid, unscheduled disassembly at this point, we're going to end our webcast here. Teams will continue to review the data and work toward our next flight test. But before we go, a big congrats to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first integrated flight test of Starship. And of course, a shout out to our viewers. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we thank you for your interest in Starship, SpaceX, and your ongoing support. Until next time.